Hi, beautiful. You look gorgeous. Thank you so much for being here. I am beyond excited to watch these videos with you. So let's get into it. And if you haven't checked out my brand new X Moto products, make sure you do it. The link's right down below. And some of you guys don't even know I have a hair care brand. So hi, you know who I am, maybe, hopefully. I have a hair care and color brand called X Mondo. And uh, if you wanna learn more about the brand, it is linked below. We have products for every hair type and every hair texture, so check it out. It's a petty of me to censor my hair color so I don't want anyone to see it. I want you to wait to the end, okay? This video has been sent to me so many times and apparently it is a very chaotic video. So I went to the store and I picked up these three colors. The first one is 60 Hazelnut Blonde. The other one is 7.7 .7 Deer Brown and the other one is 67 Chocolate Brown. That's exactly what I want. Why don't we just stick with one color? Like, I don't get it when you guys go and buy three different colors like this and mix them all together. Why don't we just buy one? You're not even gonna get that color that's on the box. Yeah, you can just forget about that. Yeah, you'd probably just be better with just one single color. It's not even that you would probably be better off with one color, it's that you would be. And if you want the six to seven range, just pick one or the other. Let's not make it complicated, okay? It's one shade difference. It's not that drastic. If you're worried about being too dark, then go with a seven. You know what I mean? It's not that hard. Also, a six and a half, I don't know. It's like, come on, you're not a hairdresser. Just go with the simple shit. Experiment one, I am mixing my bleach 30 double upper and I cut up some pieces of my hair and made a little pony and I'm just gonna put it on a foil paper and bleach it. This way it's so easier to test out your hair without damaging your actual hair. She is doing a test strand, so that's impressive. They all were so orange and brassy. I absolutely hated all three of the boxes. They were all a big fail. Experiment two, again, mixing up bleach 30 double upper. I picked up the Garnier 7.1 Ash Blonde and the famous Revlon Color Silk 6 dark ash blonde. So again, I cut up another chunk of my hair and tied it up in a hairband and I tried to test it out. What? What? I don't know what's going on. I'm losing track already. We just started this video. Why is there more box color involved? What is this now? I thought the other colors was what she was using. She whipped out another six and another seven. I just don't understand where we're going with this. Why is there so many colors? To the first bleached hair, I decided to apply the Revlon and Garnier hair dye and apply some purple shampoo. And to the second chunk, I used Garnier and no purple shampoo. To the third chunk, I used purple shampoo first and then Garnier. So I dyed them up and I did exactly what the rules said on the top just to test and see for myself what works and what doesn't. <laughs> what? This is a whole experiment. Not only is it messy and weird the way you're approaching this, like you're also like doing it very cautiously. I don't know. I feel like if you want to be this cautious, you might as well just go to a professional, you know? You might as well just get it done. I appreciate the fact that you're testing it, but I don't know. All these formulas are weird as hell. Like why are we doing purple shampoo over brown hair? Purple cancels out yellow. The hair is not yellow. It's not going to do anything. The first one is processing really fast and it looks really dark. The second one looks like my color, the one that I'm going for, like an ash mushroom brown. Third one is still sitting in purple shampoo. Here I have them all dried, blow dried. I straightened the chunks as well. This is the finished result. And I knew the winner was second. That hair looks fucked. <laughs> like completely, utterly fucked. So I'm scared what's on her actual head and what's gonna actually happen. And at this point, I'm skipping over this, this like test strand sh I don't even know what her starting hair is. I don't even think we've even seen her face yet. I used 30 and I used a developer and bleach powder. You could use whatever you want. Just make sure it's a two to one ratio. Look at how long my hair has gotten from this picture. I cut my hair a few months ago and my hair is like literally till my titties now. Isn't that insane? Did she say her hair is to her, hair is to her titties now? <laughs> literally till my titties now. <laughs> I love her. I just wasn't expecting her to say her titties. So she has obviously extremely dark, extremely thick hair. It's just gonna be a battle. She's gonna expose a lot of warmth when she lightens her hair, so it's gonna be very hard to go ash brown. She has to lighten it way beyond a brown color. She kind of has to lighten it to a more of a blonde color to then go that super ash blonde. So that's why I don't like freak out cutting my hair, dyeing my hair, because my hair grows really fast. You want to color your hair in like super greasy hair. What's going on with the haircut? Do we want to talk about that? Do we want to open that bag of worms? Why are there pieces that are about an inch longer than the rest? That's all I really want to know right now. So I'm going to be a little profesh and I'm going to take some foil paper and cut it up. We're getting the foil out, huh? Her hair, I would definitely use foils, right, in, in a salon. But for an at-home job, just foils never seem to be the vibe. People can't do it. It's a very hard skill to obtain to properly use foils, you know? So when you guys try to do it at home, it never comes out quite right. I never know which side to use. You can use whatever side you want. So this is the bleaching powder I use. I'm gonna take this glass. I'm gonna fill up to 100 ml. 
Not ml, oh my god, I sounded so stupid. But basically it's two to one ratio. So if I'm putting 100 ml bleach, it has to be 200 ml devil up first. Oh, she is measuring the lightener. So that's nice. That's great. I do like that. So I have all my bleach here. I think I'm ready to go, right? I can already see all the hairdressers cringing to death. I think it's funny how many people, I, I'd say this a lot, but how many people use an actual brush when they do their color. You're not exactly doing anything right a lot of the time, but then you whip out the brush. I think it just makes you guys feel like you're you're really a hairstylist, you know, you're going for it. But like, at, like when you're doing bleach on your own head like this, you don't need a brush. Just get that product on your hands and get it all in there, you know, feel it. It's more intuitive when you take your hands and you feel the pieces that are missing the liner. The brush, it's sometimes a little harder to know, but when we're doing it Professionally, it definitely makes it easier to um, get everything on there evenly and distribute and precisely. But when you're doing it at home, that doesn't quite matter, does it? Because you guys aren't going to do it right. And that's okay. Because that's why I have a job. So thank you. I have like eight people coming over, eight guests. We cooked up food. We have to like clean up the... Oh, I cleaned up the place. I don't think this is appropriate. I'm literally bleaching my hair. Ugh. I saw 80,000 strands of hair that were not covered in bleach. How are we gonna do it? So the strands are not missing bleach because this is not it. This is not what I wanna see. I'm telling you, it's so much fun to just sit and experiment with your hair color because once you go light, it's so much fun to like play around. But once you have like black hair dye, like black hair in general, it's so hard to lift your color. Ah, uh, we're going for the hands now. All right, so if you're gonna use foils, this is it, okay? Grab that section, a nice, Thin section, guys. I, I always say thin, and nobody quite grabs a thin section. Just a thin, paper thin. I mean thin, 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 any, thin, 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 thin. Cover that hair in all the lightener. Go up an inch to your root, okay? And then, once you're all done applying and getting on every single hair strand, put that foil on. Okay? After though, not while you're trying to get that lightener on. It's just not gonna work for you. You're not in a salon, you're not a hairstylist, so don't do it like we do it. I've heard hairdressers say you wanna comb it through so you know every single strand gets that. So it's so different, let me explain, so. You can definitely comb it through. I've been saying this a lot lately, but um, you can. Just make sure you reapply after you comb, okay? Because the comb sometimes takes the lightener off the hair, and that's not good either. If I do my hair and it goes wrong, I'm completely okay with it. I won't even like bicker about it, because it's me, and I, I'm not allowed to f it up, you know, I'm not a hairdresser. I'm glad you know that. I'm glad we're on the same page. All right, so she's going around the head and she's applying to as many strands of her hair as she can. Is she missing some things? Yeah. Is this gonna be super even? I don't think so. Am I interested to see what the results are gonna be from this lightning sesh? F yeah, I am. I have never been more interested in my life. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go now and bleach the back of my head. I need my washroom meter for that. So this is what the back of my head looks like. <laughs> Not me standing up and posing just to find out that I have a whole chunk of hair that I missed. Hold the f on. Hold that f door open because there is no way she left a five inch wide section of hair completely unbleached. There is no way. What? Bam. So guys, I am back. I bleached my roots now. It's looking great, right? Don't answer that. That was rhetorical. What? The f so much has happened in the last one second. Um, so let me bring you up to speed. So basically what happened was she left about mm, like a good eight inches of her root uncolored. Didn't let the ends sit at all. No, we didn't let them get blonde before we then go on the roots. Um, however, because she left that eight inch long section, she's gonna get banding, okay? Because the heat from the scalp is only gonna affect that one inch from the scalp and not the rest of the uh, seven inches that she left out of the rest of the bleach. Um, she's also gonna have darker ends and lighter uh, roots because she didn't let the ends process enough before applying to the roots. You know, there's just gonna be a lot of things wrong. Also, sorry, I didn't even mention, there's one last foil left in her hair and her entire face is bleached. Let's pick a struggle. You know, just one, one struggle. We got like five of them now. Yeah, I have four minutes left until I wash my whole head off and I left a whole chunk back. <laughs> Girls be like, ash blonde, it's, it's me. I've done the same exact hair color. Holy shit, that looks bad. That looks actually awful. And why is there a towel down her shirt? This is just getting more and more chaotic as we go. But that hair is orange and multicolored and fuck. Oh. You can totally see there's like the side that's really dark. Can you see this? Like the side's really dark and then even on this side, actually this side came out really good. It's not that bad, but this the side's really dark. Oh, I thought she said this side came out really good. Actually, this side came out really 
could. I know she didn't say that. That would be crazy. Because <laughs> I don't know what part of this is good. Actually, it's just this hair. This hair, like this strand is just really dark, like almost black. No, it's actually multiple strands. It's, it's actually a lot of your head that's still very dark. So it's time to brush out my hair and holy lord, baby. I have yellow, red, orange, any other color y'all see because it's really bad and patchy. I look like a lion. That's a mane, babes. <laughs> I want to die. So I got some cutting hair, hair cutting scissors and this is, I know, I know everybody clicked off. Hairdressers have unsubscribed. This was a really bad way of cutting my hair, but I was very impatient. I cut off my hair and then I'm going to use the two boxes of the Ash Blonde 7.1. Two boxes, baby. Mix that up, partition my hair and take little chunks and coat it. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, hold on, guys. I need a break. I, I am getting tormented right now. All right, I'm back. <laughs> let's, let's press play. She's about to put permanent color over her already lightened hair. For what reason? I don't know. Color does not lift color. So if you are trying to go ash brown, uh, you will need to lift your hair with bleach first because it is already a dark coppery red, orangey brownish auburn color. Yeah, this is not gonna work. And I foiled them up and I used the 5N Guardian Natural Colors. This is a darker ash brown color, not blonde, ash brown. So I put that all over my roots, let that sit for like 20 to 30 minutes. I used a foil again just to pat it all the way in the top to make this process faster. And honestly, I look cool. I look like I went to the VMAs. So yeah, so for my roots, I used a darker color. I don't see it. Like, I think it's missing. I have extensions on too. So I'm gonna take it off and show you how I look without extensions. So yeah, for sure my extensions look a little like off, like a little orange, a little brown compared to my hair. Bro, my hair is like ash, ash city. So ashy, there's no golden, no yellow. What? How did she end up with this? I also don't even know how to describe this color. Like, it almost has some, like, purpley undertones from what I'm seeing right now. I don't know how her hair ended up ashy, cool-toned. It's it's almost like a cool warm, you know? It's kind of like a matte color. Like, I don't know how to describe it. It's a very interesting color. I wouldn't even know how to replicate this, like, if somebody asked for it. It's, a, it's such a complex, like weird color but somehow she's rocking it <laughs> like somehow she looks amazing yeah her root is definitely lighter than the ends which i never like to see and she did want them darker but i think she used this, the same level as she did on the ends which wouldn't result in a darker root um you would need to use something like probably two levels down to make a difference um but i'm not familiar with box dye so your guess is as good as mine is it uneven and patchy still yeah do i see um some some kind of inkiness on the ends where it's just caught too much because of that permanent color that you did not need. Yeah, but do you look amazing and beautiful? I think so. So I guess a win is a win, but we definitely lost a lot along the way. Hello, everybody. We're box dyeing my hair brown. Um, no, you're not, girl. So this didn't go exactly to plan. I'm going to fill you in on what has happened so far. So in part one, I dyed my hair red and then went over with a brown. And I ended up with this horrible color. So in part two, I went in with a color remover and that's what we're working with today, this kind of orangey blonde color. So I originally picked out a pretty dark shade to fill my blonde with, this bright red. I'm gonna cry. If you're going for a dark brown slash black, this will probably work. But if you're going for a light medium brown like I was, you're gonna wanna pick out a much lighter color. Here's a chart to help. The left side shows the color you want, right side shows the undertone you need. For the light medium brown, I would need a red orange shade as you can see, not a dark red shade, which is what I picked out. Here's the before, guys. Whoa. <laughs> a lot just happened. I don't know if it's maybe me today. I think it might be me, because like I just I'm just like mentally exhausted. But people have been talking and talking and talking. I don't even know where I am. Alright, so she's definitely right. So she went through a lot. Okay, we, we realized that a lot of shit just happened. She ended up using a dark red to fill her hair. Now, when you use a dark red, she's right. Like, you're gonna want to go really dark brown on top of that, or else the red is gonna shine through. But if you're trying to do a light, medium brown, don't fill with red. Get more of those coppery, orange, gold tones back in the hair, and you'll have a much easier time covering it with a light brown color. Otherwise, it's gonna be a struggle. You're not gonna accomplish it, period. The hardest part is picking out the right color color, and honestly, like, brown color as well and not because i have a hard time figuring out what color the hair should be that part's easy i know what color my hair should be to fill but the problem is
is these photos and these guides are never correct. You're right. They are never correct. And um, that is exactly why you should probably step into Sally Beauty and find a permanent color that has a number and letter system. Okay, and look at the color wheel and decide what color you want and what color cancels out the tones you're trying to cancel out and the tones you're trying to have in your hair. I know that's much easier said than done, I understand, but you already know about how to fill and you've already figured that out. I feel confident you can figure out the rest. So, ah, God, you're just not gonna get what you want with a f box dye kit. Guys, box dye permanent color kits are only for people with virgin hair. Virgin hair only. Nobody else can use it. Yeah, we're starting with the root, okay? With permanent color, it's gonna get lighter at the root, all right? There's gonna be heat from the fucking root. I feel like I keep repeating this and nobody's listening to me. They go wasting my breath. The root is gonna get the color lighter than the ends, but nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. This is the finished look, and now we wait about 30 minutes. Oh, fudge. It got worse again, guys. Again. So, if you look at her hair right now, it looks dry as f. You do not ever want to see your hair this dry looking. Ever when you're coloring your hair. There's not an adequate amount of color in your hair. And if there's not enough color in your hair, it's not going to get colored evenly. And it's not going to do its job correctly. You need to saturate. So, for my shower, I just grabbed a little bit of warm water and lathered it up and then did a lot of rinsing. Then went ahead and brushed that and blow dried and this was the finished product, aka didn't really change at all. I struggled a lot with this brown mix. As you can see, oh my gosh, it was a disaster. <laughs> it didn't change at all. Guys, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what else. I don't know what to tell this girl. I mean, I'm not there. So I can't tell her anything, but I'm just like, I wanna help. I wanna help her. Um, we're doing another box dye because for some reason people think if we do it twice, it'll change. I was very, very generous with this. I was not planning on missing anything and having bits of like blonde <laughs> as my end result. So really went crazy and made sure I got every single spot. Okay, it's way more saturated this time, so that's sick. I like that a lot, but you know, we'll see if it does anything this time. I don't know what color she's even using. I'm lost. I'm confused. <sighs> okay, for this shower, all I did was rinse, rinse, rinse for a long time until the water ran clear and then shampooed and conditioned. I'm proud of the shower, obviously, and I'm a little worried. I don't know if you can tell, but it's looking quite red on the room. Gosh, shut the f up. Not you. Just this whole scenario. Just shut the f up. You know, like you just spent all that time removing the red out of your hair and you just ended up coloring it red again. It's time for the final reveal. <laughs> okay, let's just go. Alright, guys. So in this lighting, I actually really like the color of it. But that being said, I actually have like no idea what my hair looks like, like what the color is. Like, it looks different in my phone camera, it looks different on this camera, it looks different on like in a mirror, and it looks completely different in different types of lighting. This is it in front of just my window. Fully natural light, and it's already looking, as you can tell, very red. It doesn't look bad, but it's just not what I was expecting. This is with just natural light, but um, not directly in front of it. It feels and honestly looks a lot healthier um, now that I've gone dark. So there's definitely like no regrets there on, you know, switching from blonde to brunette. It's just the red that is not my favorite. Okay, sorry. A lot to take in there. Your hair is definitely very red. When it's in the natural sunlight, I would say it's a pretty good depiction of like what the undertones are a lot of the times. Like the sun will really bring out those warm undertones. You will never not have any warmth in your hair because brown is always a warmer color, right? There's always undertones of orange or red or all yellow or all three of them. And that's what we want to make your hair look like it has depth. If we don't have that, it's going to look hollow and kind of muddy and ugly. I actually like this color in your hair. However, However, I understand what you mean, like you don't want, you didn't want the red and it's kind of annoying to see it because that happened to me many times in my whole life. Um, what you 
have to do, though, is if you want to get rid of this red, you're going to have to light it again. Okay, unfortunately, there's no way of getting rid of this by just putting something over it. I mean, if you wanted to go much darker, you could do like a blue black and it might cover the, the, this kind of coppery reddish tones you're seeing. But if you want it all out, you're going to have to go lighter again and then use a proper toner, dye permanent toner, to balance the color. However, it is so tricky trying to get a brown that does not show a lot of warmth. It is one of the trickiest things to do. There's really no way of doing it at home because you need to have a lot of experience with formulations of color and uh, unless you went to hair school and unless you have five years of training under your belt, you're not going to know which color to use. And I cannot recommend something through the screen without looking at your hair in person. And the color I recommend is professional. So I, if long story short, I cannot help you, but you're, you do look good. And I actually do like this color on you. So maybe just keep it here and move on with your life. <laughs> Sorry, that was a long-winded way of saying you're fucked. I just made a very, very rash decision. I am going to dye my hair. But as you guys can tell, my roots have grown out quite a lot. I have kind of been neglecting it, letting it turn yellow again. I was kind of wanting to dye my hair brown now. Now it has come to that. I'm really digging brown hair on people lately. Mm, you know what it is? It's because I have darker hair now. Like, I don't know if I'm quite brown headed, but I will say like now that I have turned to the darker side and I'm no longer platinum, I no longer have the double process disease that is very real. I get what you guys like about having brown hair. It makes me feel richer, you know? Blonde really like, it's tough. If you don't have your makeup on, it just tends to wash you out, you know? It just lowers the contrast between your face and your hair, and then everything kind of becomes like a sheet of white when you're a white person, you know? I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm so scared, but I've already spent my money on everything, so there's no backing out now. I might be brunette bailey my plan is i'm gonna do this at home and then if i absolutely completely hate it i will go into the salon and i will pay the money to get it fixed all right well she's going dark herself so yeah let's see what happens we're we gonna fill the hair uh probably not are we gonna do what are we gonna do what are we gonna do i got three different demi permanent hair colors so i can go over this more when i get home and start like prepping everything but basically i've been doing a ton of research on how to dye your hair from bleach blonde to brown and i was originally going to use a box dye then through my research i found out that that's actually really really bad for your hair since the developer in the box dye is meant to lift a darker colored hair and then dye it whatever color you want to dye it that is um way more extra damage than bleached hair needs to actually take on the color. The research is researching. That was commendable. That was beautiful. Um, you're exactly right. You put it in a very simple way, but um, that that's good enough for me. You do not need permanent color. And she went with semi-permanent. Oh. I'm going full in like hair stylist vibes with this hair dye, you guys. Even more reason why I'm super nervous because it's not like the box dye, which is like meant for like amateurs. No, this is a good idea. You should, you should be less nervous because of this. So because my hair is blonde, bleach blonde, and I've like taken all of the like natural like tones and stuff out of it, I have to put all of those back in or else my brown hair could look really whack. Don't know exactly how whack, but everything I've looked at just said it's gonna look whack. So I don't wanna take that risk. It knows so much. This is making me happy. So I got this 6W color charm. So this one is like a reddish brown. So this is gonna put all of that like warm tones back into my hair. Okay, so she's filling her hair with 6W, which I believe is warm. I don't know what tone that is. I mean, it's just like a orangey, some kind of warm undertone. So probably like orange and yellow. I don't think there's any red in there or else it'd be called 6R. So that's good. I think that's a great idea. She's not trying to go black. She's trying to go brown. So she's doing that warm color as the filler at a level six. Might be a little bit dark. So that's gonna be really interesting. I have to dye my hair this color first. So I'm gonna be like a reddish brown color first. Very interesting. And then we are going in with 4N medium natural brown. 4N. That is gonna be very dark. That is going to be like black. Again, depending on the color line you're using, but that's dark. So I have my gloves. I have my red hair dye to start with. Don't really know how I'm gonna be starting this all off. I'm gonna section my hair and then I'm going to mix this with my 20 volume developer, which I already had from last time. God damn it. God damn it. We were doing so good. You were doing so good. <laughs> 
and then you whipped up the 20 volume developer for dye permanent color, which I'm sure you can use it, right? You can, if, if Willis says you can use it, that's great. But you can also use a lot of things, you know, you can, and not everything is right, even if you can use it technically. You don't want 20 volume. You're gonna lift your natural color. It depends on the color line you're using, but typically it ranges from a seven volume to a 10 volume for dye permanent color. <sighs> Anything above that, it's going to lift your hair and we don't want to lift your natural color and 20 volume is going to lift quite a bit. Bad. It's going to cause damage to your hair as well. I'm sorry, this is painful today. She's applying to like one single strand at a time and not applying enough color at all. I mean, girl, just get it on there. Take a bigger section, put tons of color on it and really get it on everything. That hair does not look fully saturated at all. Anyways, I just got out of the shower and I haven't seen my hair yet. I'm super nervous. Oh my God. Okay, let's see. Gosh, you guys. All right, so as you can see, what happened was um, because of the 20 volume, it lifted her ends to a blonder color and then tried to deposit tone on top of it, but uh, it probably just did not take because the hair is now more porous than what she started with and the color molecules probably just fell out in the shower. And then also her roots are copper because uh, that 20 volume lifted her natural hair color and then deposited that warm level six tone. So she's got a lot of stuff to deal with now. It's even worse than before. Okay, you guys. This is the finished look. I am literally obsessed with it. You guys can see it in the lighting. Very dark. First of all, I hate when you guys don't show me how you got to the end result. <laughs> well, she did just apply the brown on top of this. And I think I've been through enough um, abuse today. But yeah, honestly, let's hear her opinion first. But I love it. Like, I think it makes my eyes pop. The dark hair was definitely a game changer. But other than that, I would say like the, using the, the red tone first is definitely necessary for sure the 20 volume developer worked for my hair to process the color or however that works and this is it but i am loving it to sum it up she loves the way it looks i think the dark looks really really great on her um however it's another case of that kind of weird tone where i'm seeing purple i'm seeing gray i'm seeing a little bit of blonde peeking through i'm seeing some darker browns it's a lot of things on one head um i think we could get a lot more even next time and maybe just more depth to the hair it's feeling just a tad bit hollow still but you look incredible and your eyes are definitely popping and also i would just love to see you with like a wolf cut like i feel like that would bring the whole look together a new haircut with this new color Ooh. like some more layering in there so it's not all heavy at the bottom would look insanely good but pretty decent job and i'm glad you experimented with some uh dye and permanent color instead of going with box dye directly so see you guys you can do it without going directly to box color and it will still work out for you in some way or another well that was a roller coaster i am officially stressed out for the day that means i should finish my video and that's all guys thank you for watching and i'll see you next time make sure you also check out x mono hair i do have a hair care brand and a hair color brand we are at sally beauty we are on amazon and we are on our dtc website x mono hair which is linked below for you. Goodbye.